欢迎收睇六恩闯荡，我正式宣布，仲有五日就系冠军赛买日啦。当日仲有三场嘅 Group One 赛事，绝对满足中意喜欢睇大赛嘅你。唔止咁啊，到时啦仲有多批嘅海外名区到嚟挑机添啊！咁啊唔知道港队能唔能够力保不失咧？我对港队有信心啊，好似主席短途奖咁，有红衣醒神同埋争分夺秒坐镇。佢哋对上两场赛绩都唔错噶，分分钟夜买翻嚟啊！嗱，冠軍一理賽咧，有我哋嘅馬王美麗全程喺度啦，就唔使多講噶啦。咁至於女王杯啦 ，Rita 點睇咧？天滿意啊，因為咧上星期咧嗰課試集嘅表現都相當唔錯，先支持佢一票先。咁但係咧同場都有多匹嘅勁女噶，咁啊到時真係個結果要星期日先知咯。咁不如我哋睇下 Top Five Update 下馬壇動態先啦。复活节假期嘅最后一日，沙田马场非常热闹。呢日赛事，多位骑师都有头马进奖。最终潘顿凭住苏保罗马房嘅健快联盟，方家柏马房嘅王者胜利，以及沈集成马房嘅最合拍，登上骑师王宝座。马会早前正式公布从化第二阶段设购名单，一共有四位练马师即将喺从化开仓，佢哋分别系丁冠豪、骆富全、容天鹏以及姚本辉。佢哋四月尾开始将会分批北上，而全哥早前就提到喺从化开仓养多十匹马，相信可以令佢马房实力进一步提升咁话。我哋都希望四个马房可以尽快适应，早日训练出更多好马啦。Number three， 方圆复活节长假系咪有啲 Tuesday Blue 咧？唔紧要，事关听晚喺跑马地将会上演热闹寒风 party， 都市唱内唔只有热爆 K-pop， 仲有多款嚟自韩国嘅高科技玩意任你玩，玩到攰咯，仲可以一边品尝韩式美食，一边欣赏韩国马氏会锦标，正啊 ！Number two。新晋练马师丁冠豪喺三月举行嘅从化马场示范赛里面，曾经派出爱马剑以及龙腾马约参战，成功跑获好成绩。星期三嘅夜赛，以上两匹马都会上阵，其中爱马剑上仗喺从化出战三班千二米赛事跑第三名。当日出赛嘅陆勇士同埋力奇先锋已经先后赢马。至于喺爱马剑之后过终点嘅电子大师腾龙超影以及叫关健康。逆将都成功跑获第二、第三名，呢次外马剑成绩又会系点呢？至于龙腾马约上将就赢出从化嘅五班千百米赛事。其实龙腾马约喺从化野马之前已经赢过快活谷千百米赛事，今次再跑同情，可唔可以顺利取得三连捷呢？密切留意星期三嘅跑马地野赛啦。Number one。嚟紧星期日就系万众期待嘅冠军赛马日啦！当日会上演三场国际一级赛，分别系富卫保险女王杯、富卫保险冠军一理赛以及主席短途奖。而竞逐女王杯嘅胜出光彩、远近驰名，同竞逐主席短途奖嘅纯美化身同安素儿子，都已经系星期日顺利抵港。三场赛事势必成为全城焦点。究竟港队马可唔可以获得档位之利呢？就要密切留意星期四举行嘅排位抽签仪式啦。今届女王杯性格巨星巴基之星嘅表现，绝对系大家嘅焦点之一。上场主席锦标，佢跑入第三名，表现啊相当唔错，有啲复苏嘅迹象。唔通真系转咗仓之后醒神咗？咁要问下苏宝罗先知啦。Paul, it's a big weekend coming up for you here in Hong Kong. You've got Pakistan today having his first start for you. What's it like when you've got a dual Group One winner coming into your stable? Well, it's always nice, nice to, to get a horse like that. But uh, sometimes they can be a poison present. Um, he's obviously an extremely talented horse, and he's just struggling a little bit with his form at the time. So and it's hard for me to sort of put my finger on on exactly why he's, he's coming in very good condition and good health. So hopefully, little changes can turn things around. You mentioned that he comes to you. Out of form, we know how capable he is. What's the pressure like for you to try to turn him around? Well, naturally enough, if he's if he's winning or going very close, it'd be a lot of pressure to、um, continue to perform. So it's not quite that 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 type of pressure, but、um, of course, it's a fair bit of、um, responsibility to try and turn him around. 
We've seen what he's been able to do on the track, that debut win that caught the attention of everybody around the world, the two group ones. We've also seen the bad side of him, him pulling himself up. With these elite level horses as a trainer, how important is it not just to get them right physically, but also mentally? I think every horse has to be right mentally, particularly here in Hong Kong. And uh, as I say, his problems probably are mental because as an individual, Tony um, presented him in, in great, you know, great nick. I just can't see too much wrong with him. Let's take a more general look at your career. You trained in partnership with your father back in New Zealand. Yes. 11 trainers titles there. They were great days. Oh, the halcyon days are sort of, uh, you know, 90s, um, you know, we were fortunate enough to train a lot of good horses and campaign a lot of horses in Australia and a little bit in Japan, so uh, yeah, they were good days. That time, the late 80s to the mid 90s, with the likes of Horlicks, a Japan Cup, Cox Plate, Derby with Surface Paradise, and Oaks with Snap, are they the highlights of your career from New Zealand? Oh, for sure. We train a lot of good horses, some of them you mentioned, uh, but there's horses like. Uh, Waverley Star or our Waverley Star and the best horse we ever trained was a horse called Mr Tiz. So uh, yeah we we're lucky enough to have a lot of good horses. Is there a highlight from those years? Well your, your highlight would have to be the Japan Cup and I think and this, my second highlight as a trainer would be um, when Aero Velocity went to Japan to win the, I can't even pronounce the name, something. Takamatsu no Kennan, I'll yeah, give it a go. That's it, that's it. So, uh, so as it turned out my father and I were the, were the only two father and sons to travel to Japan and win a Group 1, so that's quite a feat. When did Hong Kong first come on your radar as a trainer? Well, I, 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 was, um, I was on a cruise ship with Stewie Lang in the, uh, where was it, in the Caribbean, and it was late at night, and I just said to Stewie out of the blue, I said, I'd love to go to Hong Kong one day, and uh, some years later, a gentleman that was working here uh, contacted me and, and advised me I should apply, and lucky enough to get the job. It's the best thing that's ever happened to me. Was it difficult to leave behind what you'd built up in New Zealand? Yes, but this was a new challenge. I was sort of 44 years old and, um, you know, would achieve a fair bit in New Zealand and it was time for a new challenge and it certainly has, it certainly has turned out to be a challenge. 424 wins in your time here in Hong Kong at this point of recording. Are you happy with how things have been in the 15 years? Oh, look, I've had my ups and downs for sure. You know, I've had some great years and I've had some shocking years and uh, you just keep your head up. I remember the, a uh, very famous trainer in New Zealand called Colin Gillings and I, I think you remember Colin, and he said, he said, I'll tell you something, son. He said, never let them know it's hurting. Never let them know it's hurting. So just keep your head up through tough times, and you've got to adapt. You know, we come from how we train them in New Zealand is totally foreign to how we train them here in Hong Kong. So this place is adapt or die, and you know, we've continued to adapt. And I think um, this year's been a little tight because last year was so good. But I, I think, um, you know, I'm pretty happy the way things, the methods we're using here now. In saying that, it didn't take you long to achieve top level success. Three years after you arrived here, you won the Derby with Vital King. It was a pretty exciting race. Yeah, it was. And, you know, as it turned out, if you, if you look back th through the stats, it turned out to be a very, very good class two race. That's what it was. Nothing really went on to any great heights in that Derby. And that's how it can be from year to year. You don't know until you get to the QE2 Cup exactly where you stand. But, yeah, that was a great thrill. Brett Preville rode him. And, um, but, uh, you know, the big big difference between here and Hong Kong, well, Hong Kong and New Zealand. In New Zealand every year you get your 60, 70 yearlings and you almost guarantee three or four of those will be Group 1 horses. Here it's a little bit tougher. So how tough is it to source high quality horses for here because obviously you buy your tried horses but also you've got to take a chance on unraced horses. Yeah well the PPGs, we've had the most success with PPGs and the majority of those have come through the stable. You know we've got uh, a number of investors there that have been there for years. We go and buy yearlings, we get them up to the trials, we either sell them or sack them. So um, we get first pick out of a lot of nice colts um, through the stable and our better PPGs or PP with Aero Velocity through the stable, that's where we've had our most success. Let's talk about Aero Velocity. Is he the best horse you've had in your time here? Oh, for sure, for sure. Great warrior, you know, uh, he, he sort of won by a lot of narrow margins. Had some very tough races but just kept backing up. He had his issues, he obviously wasn't an easy horse to manage. Bit of a character, um, yeah, bit of a character, but we sort of worked around him. And uh, as I say, very, very brave racehorse. 最後二百米,賣變幸福指數鬥緊有型格,外變幸運如意撲緊上嚟,最後變咗個華欣庭,接近終點,有型格贏出短道錦標。You've had horses that have taken you around the world in New Zealand. He's the one that's taken you around the world in Hong Kong, isn't he? Yeah, for sure, you know, it's, it's hard enough to get a 
Group 1 horse here, let alone one that will travel and travel successfully. And uh, as I say, he, he's been a marvel. He's now retired back in Sydney, Muskoka Farm. And I saw a photo of him the other day, he's getting pretty fat. He's enjoying himself? Enjoying himself, yeah. You mentioned you came here at the age of 44. We won't give away your age, but you've been here 50 years. So yeah. use your maths to figure that out. Still plenty more time in Hong Kong. What's the future hold for Paul O'Sullivan? Well, I'd, look, I'd like to just continue doing what we're doing. Um, you know, I'd like to improve the sourcing of the horses that we've got um, and just try and sort of get, get some investors that are prepared to put up money and, and buy horses that are capable of running in the best races. But uh, Hong Kong's Hong Kong. It's a great place to train. Well, Paul, it's been terrific chatting. All the best with Pakistan Star and the rest of the season. We'll certainly be cheering you on. Thanks, David. 近期蘇保羅馬房開始回養，希望佢可以把握季尾緊要嘅時間順利達標啦。嗱，轉頭翻嚟咧，會繼續有平馬人山翠絲嘅專訪。今集會同大家講下咧，佢嘅養馬心得。千祈唔好行開啊！